Hey y'all, come out this morning to uh, do a little work on the farm and notice one of my little goats. He's been limping for a day or two. I think one of the older goats probably butted him and uh, I don't know, hurt his leg some way or another, but he's getting better. He's walking on it, but he just looks a little droopy. So I'm going to give him, uh, I don't know if you've ever used it. It's a Nutra Drench. It's got all kinds of calcium, vitamins in it. If you got a little goat that's not doing good, or even a big goat, if you got a goat that seems to be uh, just not acting right, just kind of droopy, if you give them a shot of this, lots of times this will help. Uh, give them a little boost, pick them up. So we're gonna catch this little goat, give him a give him a shot of this stuff, and uh, you just squirt it in his mouth, give it orally, and uh, they all sitting here ready to go into the back pasture. <clears throat> So this is a good time to catch him. So I'm gonna catch him, give him a shot of this, then we'll turn him loose into the back. It's kind of, you saw him shaking his head, it's kind of strong, but it's, they actually like the taste of it. It's got molasses in it, and I don't know what all's in it. Uh, anyway, they do like the taste of it. It's just a little bit strong, and uh, you have to be careful, don't, don't strangle them. done some fence work the other day so thought I'd come down here show you what I'd done on the fence I know fence work is not not fun to watch not very much to look at when you're recording but I'll show you the finished product now across here we had a barbed wire fence four strand barbed wire fence so we had to put up a uh, net wire fence and all I've done on this you can see the top strand of the barbed wire I just raised it up because I always put a strand of barbed wire on top of my net wire fence I just raised that strand up put my fence up against it You can see it still has three strands of barbed wire in it with one strand on top. Got to come back and finish putting my clips on it, but got that, that fence finished. Once the clips are on, it'll be complete. The uh, new fence over here. have a new gate to go there this is the other part new fence now this part of the fence is completely new the old fence come around by these trees here I took that fence down and same way over here got barbed wire four strand barbed wire fence I'll take this top strand, move it up a little bit, and then put my other fence right up against it. I go over to the ditch to the corner, and then from the corner over to that corner over there. When I finish that, that'll be this cross fence. That'll be complete for the uh, this part of the pasture. And then all I like finishing where the wood line's at over there, go up over the hill, probably about uh, 500 feet across there that's a perimeter fence I like that part then over here right past the deer feeder you can see the deer feeder down there 
right past it in the old pond there's a brush pile over there somewhere right in there Anyway, the old brush pile there, right before you get to that brush pile, there'll be a cross fence that goes across. Once I get that cross fence complete, the fence that I just showed you here, I'll have the, have the whole farm completely fenced the way that I want it. So anyway, that's uh, the fence project that we're working on now. Now we're gonna get back to working on that uh, goat stanchion or head gate whatever you'd like to call it we're gonna get down there got me some help here Caden he's in from school we're gonna go up there to the barn just come back here and open the gate up for the goats down here in the back pasture let them get out enjoy the all this brush and brambles back down here so we're gonna get back up there and get to work we'll catch y'all later all the goats have come back from the back pasture, they all up here. 